Fear is a natural and powerful emotion that is essential to our survival. It is a protective mechanism that alerts us to potential danger and helps us to avoid harm. However, fear can also be a hindrance to our personal growth and development. It can hold us back from taking risks and trying new things, preventing us from reaching our full potential. One of the most common fears that people experience is the fear of failure. This fear is often rooted in a belief that we are not good enough or that we will be judged harshly if we fail. However, failure is a natural part of the learning process and is an essential step on the path to success. By reframing failure as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can overcome our fear of failure and take risks that can lead to personal growth and success. Another common fear is a fear of success itself. This fear is often linked to a fear of the unknown or a belief that success will bring new challenges that we are unprepared for. However, success is a natural result of hard work and determination, and it is essential to our personal growth and development. By cultivating a positive outlook on success and seeing it as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can overcome our fear of success and achieve our goals. The fear of change is another common fear that can hold us back from personal growth and development. It is a natural human tendency to resist change and cling to what is familiar and comfortable. However, change is an essential part of life and is necessary for personal growth and development. By embracing change and seeing it as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can overcome our fear of change and take risks that can lead to personal growth and success. Then there is the terror barrier. The terror barrier is an invisible barrier that exists within us, preventing us from taking results. Then there is the terror barrier. It is an invisible barrier that exists within us, preventing us from taking risks and stepping outside of our comfort zones. The barrier can manifest in many ways, such as fear of public speaking or fear of trying something new. It is often rooted in a fear of humiliation or not being respected. To overcome the terror barrier, it is important to take small risks and gradually increase the level of risk until you feel comfortable taking on more significant challenges. Celebrate your successes no matter how small and learn from your failures. Self-sabotage is another common behavior that can hold us back from personal growth and success. It is often linked to the fear of failure or a belief that we are not worthy of success. Self-sabotage can take many forms, such as procrastination, negative self-talk, engaging in self-destructive behaviors. To overcome self-sabotage, it is important to identify the underlining to overcome self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is another common behavior that can hold us back from personal growth and success. It is often linked to a fear of failure or a belief that we are not worthy of success. Self-sabotage can take many forms, such as procrastination, negative self-talk, or engaging in self-destructive behaviors. To overcome self-sabotage, it is important to identify the underlying beliefs and behaviors that are causing it and work to replace them with positive behaviors and belief. So how then can we overcome our fears? To overcome fear and achieve personal growth and resilience, it is important to, one, develop mental toughness. We need to have some grit to get through the tough times. Two, a willingness to step outside of our comfort zone. We tend to like doing what we like doing, but to do something new, we have to push into the unknown and get comfortable with being a little bit uncomfortable. Three, a mindset shift whereby we create a new and more empowering paradigm. Why do horses wear blinkers? They do so, so they will only head in a certain direction. And this can be good sometimes. Sometimes it's a good idea to be focused. But to solve our various life challenges, we need to develop a bigger, more empowered mindset if we want to unravel these challenges and move forward with our lives. Positive self-talk, to break through the barriers that hold us back. We spend 24 hours a day with ourselves, so if you're not going to talk positively to yourself. 4. 
positive self-talk, the breakthrough of the barriers that hold us back. We spend 24 hours a day with ourselves. So if you're not going to talk positively to yourself, then who's going to? It's fine to pick up on your mistakes and your affections, but there's no point in judging yourself and putting yourself down. Learn from your mistakes and move on and develop instead positive self-talk. It is also essential to cultivate a positive mindset. Uh, positive self-talk will develop a positive mindset. Human beings are in a world of language. We keep on describing our world. So when we use positive self-talk, we develop at the same time, in tandem with it, a positive mindset which is essential to success. Human beings possess free will, but we can use free will to either empower or disempower ourselves. So use it wisely. Six, develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset is a natural outcome of positive self-talk and a positive mindset. The only difference is that a growth mindset suggests endless expansion. Many people have a positive mindset, yet they are set in their ways and are not able to open up to new possibilities in life. This makes them happy people, but there's so much more that they could experience and they could give to others so much more if they would only develop a growth mindset and become a bigger version of themselves. Seven, develop a network of supporters and collaborators. You are only as strong as your network. Why reinvent the wheel when you can ask your network of supporters and collaborators for help? All it takes is some generosity on your side to also help others, as unless you help your network, they will not help you. Secondly, you have to be willing to receive help, and this means being a little bit humble and willing to accept the help of others in your life. Eight, practice mindfulness and meditation. Pretty much every successful person either practices meditation or mindfulness in some way or another. Some of them follow specific practices, while others intuitively take time out of their busy day to reconnect with themselves. Personally, I practice heartfulness meditation and it greatly helps me at centering myself. You can check it out here at www.heartfulness.org. With a positive mindset shift and a determination to break through barriers, we can overcome fears and achieve our goals. And here are some fear busting techniques which can help. In addition to the strategies above, other techniques which can help are one, visualization techniques, which can be used to imagine success and confidence. Two, positive affirmations or auto suggestions can help to shift our mindset and replace negative self-talk with positive self-talk. Three, setting achievable goals and breaking them down into smaller steps can help us build momentum and gain confidence. Ultimately, overcoming fear and achieving personal growth requires a commitment to self-improvement and a willingness to take risks. It requires us to face our fears head on and step outside of our comfort zones. But with a positive mindset and a firm belief in our worthiness and our ability to achieve our goals, we can overcome fear and pave the way to success in our lives.